Hey guys, it's me Charlie and today is December 11th, 2012 and I'm doing a video on how to make a new batch of um, micro worm culture. I just wanted to make a new batch up because the one I have here on the right is actually kind of overdue. So let me um, zoom in and show you guys what I mean. Alright, so this is my batch <coughs> excuse me of um, see if I can get to, uh, there we go, you see it moving? Those are the micro worms. And I need to make up a new batch, so what you'll need is some yeast, your current batch, or purchase some at a pet store. I got this for 75 cents and I got the size of a nickel. They gave me a nickel's worth. You'll need a bowl, you can either use oatmeal or bread of your choice. I always have wheat bread or whole grain bread. Ooh. and then some water just regular um, you could use sink water but the problem with sink water it kills bacteria so it's preferred if you can actually use um, sink water that's filtered so try not to use direct sink water because otherwise it will um, have chlorine in it and that will kill the bacteria which is what we're trying to get this to do you also need um, a, a tablespoon or a teaspoon doesn't really matter so what I normally do is I crush up the bread, I add the water and the yeast together, and I take a teaspoon or a tablespoon of the live um, micro worms that I have already started. And I do this probably once a month because this actually starts to ferment and turn into like alcohol. And so this is done. And really what I do is I just take out one teaspoon or tablespoon put it in the new batch that I'm going to make, which I'm going to show you next, and then the rest I discard. Alright, so I've already taken my bread here and I've crushed it up, and I did want to mention to you guys, you want to use um, anything like oatmeal or wheat or bread or um, maybe some crackers that don't have oil in it. You don't want to use something like, um, I can't remember those one kind of crackers that are brown. Oh gosh, I think you guys know what I mean. It's a very old-fashioned type of cracker. Nabrisco, I think it is? I don't remember, but that has too much oil in it, so you don't want to use that. So just take your bread, which is what I'm using, and you're just going to add a tiny bit of the yeast, and I'm trying to get it to come out of the package. And what I'm doing with the yeast is it's a live bacteria that uh, is going to feed the microworms. Now, you don't need very much at all, just a tiny, 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 tiny sprinkle. Then you want to add just enough water to moisten this. You don't want it soaking wet, otherwise you're going to kind of get them a little bit drowned. They don't usually drown, but they could. I'm just using a shot glass, a full shot glass here, so I don't know how much I'm going to need of the shot glass. But the bread will soak it up. And I'm thinking that might be enough. Yeah, that should be enough. Okay, so basically I've used about 80% of the water in the shot glass. All right, next. I'm going to go ahead and I want to scoop just a little bit of the blood, I mean blood worms, the micro worms. So I'm going to take from the top here, right in the center, and I'm just going to take just a little bit. I'm going to scrape. These guys breed like you wouldn't believe. All right, so that's all I need. Just that tiny bit right there. And I'm going to put that to the side here. And sorry for the mess in my sink, but I'm doing dishes. And I'm just going to get rid of the rest of this. throw these guys away. I don't know what other benefit they would do. I don't know what else you can do to... I don't know if you can put them in, like, soil to eat up stuff. I have no idea. So I'm just going to flush them down the sink. You could throw them outside if you want. I'm going to clean the container really well. It's got really hot water just to get rid of any type of bacteria that might kill your colony, so you want to make sure you rinse it off really well. I have a top here that I don't 
close down on this. This is just a Rubbermaid container. See, it's just a little Rubbermaid container. All right, so I'm going to put this off. Normally, I hold this. I just don't want to set it down on the counter. Maybe I can do this. And I just dump... Okay, I'm going to do this with another hand. Yikes, I don't want to touch that. Alright. And I'm going to flatten that out. And I'm going to put this right on top. And that's basically it. There's a tiny bit on the spoon here, but it doesn't really matter. This is just a little bit left over. Alright, so what you want to do is just let that be. And you'll probably see... Oh, not really. A tiny bit right there is going to overpopulate this thing within like four days. They just breed every day. And then I just loosely put that on top. And I find somewhere to put this, which I put it right on my little, right there on top. I let that sit. I just leave this open. They don't crawl out. They can climb up the walls, and that's where you harvest them, by putting your finger in there or a Q-tip, and you harvest them, and then you take your finger that has them on there, and you stick your finger in the fish tank, and they come off, and then the fish eat them. I also use this to feed my brine shrimp, or sorry, not my brine shrimp, my oxalata babies. But as you can see in here, I have hundreds of babies everywhere. Where are they? They're all over the tank. There we go. And they're just eating up the um, microworms. But yeah, I just leave it right up here. and. Um, you don't want the temperature to be too cold or too hot in your room, so you don't want to put it outside. So if you're comfortable, they're comfortable. So the temperature of the kitchen feels good to me, it feels good to them. Within like four days, that entire top will be completely full of microworms. All right, so I thought I'd share that with you guys. I hope this inspires you to make your own um, culture of microworms. And um, if you have any questions about what other types of foods you can use. I would Google it or you can go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll do the best I can to answer it. So I think that's it. Don't forget to rate the video, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Look at my plants. Jeez, they have just grown. These snails here died a long time ago. Aren't they pretty? And so I just kept them because their shells are really pretty. See you guys in the next video.